Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today is a really special uh, layout that I'm doing. It's for day 20 at Scrap Timber which is long title but it's also a collaboration with my lovely friend Moira O'Reilly. Um, yeah we've come up with an idea to do a collaboration today. Uh, we're both going to scrapbook the same photograph and the same challenges so and um, if you know if you follow me you'll know that i'm a volunteer at the isle of white donkey sanctuary and the lovely moira adopted elvis the donkey to support me and to support the sanctuary because she knows um you know i already adopted elvis i've adopted elvis for years and she knows how much it means to me and how important it is and she wanted to uh, do something to help so that was like amazing so what i do is every week when i'm there or whenever i'm there I send a little updates and photos and videos of Elvis and uh, yeah she really loves it and then um, what happened was I took this photo one time recently and it was all the donkeys getting extra hay because you can probably see that the ground is quite barren and this was during the heat wave this was back in August during the worst of the heat wave and so they were getting extra hay given to them sort of during the day and um, it just so happened that they all kind of formed a circle around this one sort of pile of hay here pretty sure this is Elvis but yeah, I, I, I'm almost sure that's Elvis. It looks like Elvis from behind. Um, yeah, so, and I just kind of, just the round um, table came to mind. And uh, yeah, I sent it to Mel and I said, oh, the round table. And we were both talking about it and, you know, saying about, oh, we have to scrapbook the same photo. And then um, uh, I, I I thought of the title, uh, Round Table. I thought, I'd, I thought I would call it Round Table. And... Uh, I said to Mo, oh, maybe we should do, you know, the same photo and do the, the Dotty About Flare challenge for this month, the Flare Hot. So the challenge over there for this month is to use a cut file or a, a large title, um, a pie chart somewhere on the layout, washi tape, enamel darts and to use the Flare Hot Flare. So we thought, oh, we'll do that. And then Moira suggested um, the Scrap Timber, uh, scrap timber prompt. So... She went off and, you know, tried to find a suitable scrap timber prompt and she came back with the long title. Um, so I thought, oh, yeah, that, that's really good. And then I said to her, oh, maybe we should just call it Feasting at the Round Table. And I said, let's both give it the same title. So that's where we are. We're both scrapbooking the same photo, the same challenges, scrap timber 20, dotty about flare for the September and the same title, did I just say that? I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, so it's really exciting. And I said to Mo, I said, oh, I'm absolutely certain that we'll do something similar. So yeah, I'm putting it out there. I think we're gonna do something similar. I think Moira might have done hers already. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I'll be amazed if we don't do something similar. But you know, we'll see what happens. So what I've got here has got my textured cardstock from American Crafts. It's the Neutrals pack, and I'm pretty sure this one is called Caramel. If you like your exact names, um, this the circle I've cut out here is from Vicky Boot and Sweet Rush, and it's sunny side up paper. It's got a lovely pattern on the the other side actually, but I really thought this suited this layout, so I decided to use this side of the paper. What I did was I drew around a plate, cut out the circle, and um, roughed up the edges with my little little tool here and um i put it on the trimmer sliced it one way and then i just kind of randomly sliced it the other bits just randomly i didn't like measure it or anything like that and you can probably see it's not you know it, it it's just random and what i've done is i've stuck it down not too worried about what's here because that's going to be covered but i wanted this to look right the outside edge so i've, I've stuck it already done that and stuck it to the page because yeah it was quite difficult um so yeah, so that's like my pie chart element of the uh, challenge and the large title is going to be kind of a long title and I'm going to use thickers as well. So what I've got in, on my little collection of stuff here is these thickers, um, handmade I think they're called. So that's what I'm going to use for my title. I've also picked out some uh, Paige Evans here, these uh, leaf stickers, textured stickers from Bungalow Lane. I've got these Crafty Club Autumn stickers here. From my stash i may or may not use those and on my little plate here i've got my collection of enamel dots glitter domes wood dots embroidery thread here that's those stickers there that i just showed you i've got this long puffy heart sticker lots of dotty bat flare pieces of course here mixture of um of uh, pieces there just random mixture sort of a pick and mix i've got lots of washi tape here to choose from 
got to remember to use the washi tape. Got my Ranger Archival ink pad, Cobb uh, Acorn, sorry. Two lots of Spiegel Mom Scrap sequin collections, Frosty Evergreen and Winter Woods. I've already stamped the title onto this textured cardstock using this Studio G um, stamp set here. And what I did was I sort of had a little practice like I always do. And then when I'd stamped it, I thought, oh, I don't want to stamp it again. So, yeah, I just roughed up the edges, mounted it on foam, and that's going to be part of my title. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're going. So, let's get going. I'm going to place the title, um, the photo first, and I think I'm going to put that sort of to cover this bit here, just like there, and then... There's plenty of room around for sort of lots of embellishing and my main bit of the title that's going to go here. So this, I've mounted this onto um, artist's card. Um, I've had, yeah, I, I've had it, well, I've had it for many years. I found it in a charity shop many years ago, a big stash of it. Um, and it was before I moved here, so it's more than 10 years ago. So it's just, I don't know the correct name for it, but I think it's what artists probably do their watercolouring on and things not sure but yeah it's amazing stuff the only thing is it's really difficult to trim and uh, yeah pretty much break my trimmer when I try to use it but I managed to cut this piece down because it's kind of like an A5 size card I haven't got much of it left because I've used it over the years for different things but yeah that's what that is just add I like the colour and a little bit of extra texture there so. right let's think about how we want this don't want it too low but I do want to cover the this this bit here that doesn't look great so I think we're going to go there like that place it down got these hearts here definitely want that on the page somehow and the title i'm going to do in the light colored alpha but what i thought i would do was probably put some washi tape underneath because i've got to remember all those prompts washi tape is one of them and um, i quite liked these three although i've grabbed all of them I think I might I might go with this 1950s kind of pattern here. I like this one as well, which kind of does look like a fence. But yeah, I might do both. We'll see. Let's have a go. Probably, I don't know whether to put the hearts on top of the washi or just the title. I think I'm going to go for it and just put this down here. Like that. I might even use a different one. I'm going to put those down as well. These were a prize, a gift, a prize that I won from Mercy Tiara. I'm pretty sure they came in the prize pack quite recently. I think I did that on my uh, channel. Right, let's put those down. May have to add some extra ad adhesive later, but at the moment we're okay. I think what I'm going to do is get the title down properly and then um, we can embellish around that. Let's have a go. Shall we see if we want to use this one? This black one, both, use both of them, I think so. I'll give it a go. I do normally put extra adhesive on washi, but uh, yeah, I kind of forgot to do that then. And also, I think there's going to be plenty of things on top of it. Yep, I think we'll put that there because obviously this is a bit textured underneath, so it's not laying flat, but that's okay. As long as we glue it properly, it'll be fine. I think we'll try and get the title sorted. I've had a look to see if I've got the right letters in that light colour, and I have. So uh, we'll get those ready, and then we'll glue them down. I tried to do it beforehand, but um, I didn't have actually. Any, I didn't know how sticky they were, and I didn't want them to uh, stick to anything and me not be able to pull them up again. So I decided to just do it now on the with you. I, I thought about stick, sticking them on here, which I do sometimes, but yeah, I wasn't sure how sticky they are. I don't think they're actually that sticky, so I don't think it would have been a problem. So we've got feasting here, which we need to, uh, yeah, oh yes, I like that a lot. I like that colour as well. I think they're probably going to fit quite well, maybe underneath from, from in the, the second heart in, and along that way, I think that's going to be the spacing for that, I think is fine. And that gives me a bit extra room in case I wanted to do um, any kind of embellishing. I'll just get that right. Not 
do with ink to that? Do I want that exactly centred or do I want to pop that over a little bit? Maybe have something here. I haven't actually decided on that. I've also got this little stamped journaling piece here that I've already pre-stamped. This I'm not sure where this came from. I've just pulled it from a stamp set that I've had for... I just pulled this piece out of a stamp set that had lots of other things on it because I thought this is the one that I would probably use. Yes, yeah, so I don't know what stamp set came from, I'm afraid. Um, right, what I'm going to do is stick these down and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so I've just cleared those down. They did need extra adhesive add into them, so they're in place now. And I decided to add this piece too. Um, I just it's raised up slightly, like I say, on the foam pad. So I just put that to the right slightly, just in case I wanted to add some sort of interesting embellishing here. So then we've got all our bits here, aren't we? I think I'm going to glue this down because I'm pretty sure that's the right way that I want it, or where I want it. It is textured cardstock, but I actually stamped on the other side because of, I wanted to write on it and it's easier to write on the flat side. Pop that there. Now then, got all these ones that, these, these flare pieces are quite autumnal, but um, I'm sort of using them in the context of like food for the, for the, for the uh, donkeys because they get like hay and they get branches and things as well so yeah although this photo is taken in august and it look it's going to be quite an autumnal looking layout i think have that one there what should we do what do we think so my idea is to scatter these uh, flare around the layout like you know as well yeah just to uh, highlight each section of the pie chart I think and also it's just an another excuse isn't it for um, embellishing two more here I'm not sure if I want one there do I want one there because I might be adding other things as well so I'm not sure I think I probably will have this one here as like a feature pop these ones here now what I'm thinking of doing I've got these three um leaf textured stickers here i thought i'd add one of those to like different sections three different sections and maybe do a little bit of color matching here so a bit of blue with blue although that's completely different blue but that doesn't matter a bit, little bit of the uh, light colors here and the yellow here maybe pop this one down slightly I will definitely be doing my twine that I like to do, adding twine to these, probably all of them, not sure yet, I haven't completely decided. And then I think I might also add some sequins around the outer edge of the pie chart. Um, so my idea for using the pie chart, I've seen people using it in really clever ways, so some people have used like segments from like an orange as their pie chart on their layout. But my idea here is kind of like the dinner plate. So it's kind of like their dinner plate and also because it's called the round table it's also kind of like the round table as well so yeah that's my thinking there so we've got we've got a large title don't do cut files so i haven't got a cut file to use uh washi tape yes is on here oh i didn't put any extra washi tape under there did i yeah i took the title down before doing that oh we should put some there now but it's fine i can't change it it's glued down I was a bit, I did that a bit hastily, I think. Enamel dots are on my plate, ready to dot around when we finish. And obviously I've got plenty of dotted about fair um, pieces on here. So hmm, I think I like the look of that. Just, I don't think I've got any foam on this one. So I'll just add a little bit of foam to this one. I think what I'm going to do is start placing these down. So real mixture here of pieces. Um, on my stash some newer some older just getting you know I just went what I did was I went through and just found the ones that I thought suited the layout I'm gonna stick that textured sticker down there and place this one onto there I'm not sure how I'm gonna work the twine in yet but we'll figure that out when we come to it see how I want the colours to work this one I want to go I want the pattern to be up, upwards like that and I'll stick this one down as well I think what I'll do is probably have that over the edge slightly there just to add a little bit of interest this one here oh nothing on that one this one down 
on the edge, this one on the edge too, overlapping slightly there. And that's down already, I'll just glue this one down. Okay, so I just added some adhesive to this piece as well and made sure that everything was uh, stuck down. It's really bothering me now that I forgot to put the washi tape here. <laughs> the only thing I could do is probably add some blanket to the side, but I, yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I, I'm a bit upset with myself for forgetting to do that. Actually, I was placing it to see what it looked like, and then completely forgot about um, putting it down. Never mind. There's a little thing there that's really bothering me, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, so next, I think I might have a go at adding the twine so the um journaling is just going to be you know something simple about them getting the hay and it looks like it's the round table because obviously it's in the title but let's have a go i think at adding some thread see how we get on i've already pre-cut some pieces to the same length and i've cut a longer piece for the uh, xl piece over there the xl flare over there uh, we'll see how it goes. I chose this embroidery thread because I thought it looked, you know, quite a good colour. The 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 colours of the donkeys and also the hay and everything. So yeah, that's that one down. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to add that to all of them. But what I'll do is I'll add it to the ones without the stickers first, and then um, see if I want to add it to the ones with the stickers as well. See what it looks like when they when it's all down, and then. I think this is a thinner thread actually. This one looks as it I think this one's pulled away, separated from the threads. So I might have to add another one to that. What is I get all that done and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so that's all the twine added, and I'm still undecided as to whether to add it to these ones. So I'm going to wait a little while on that. What I'm going to do next is I think I'm going to add my embellishment to this outside circle. So I'm thinking I will add um, sequins, but I also want to put, that's where I want to put some of my enamel dots. I'm going to just start off by dot dotting a few enamel dots. Um, just in random places, just three like that. And then I'm going to do the same with my wood dots. I think I'm going to use the middle, the middle one, middle size. I've got enough of those, yeah, and just put those in random places as well. And then what I shall do is fill in the spaces with um, the sequins. So I use the middle size of this, put one there, one here, there, one here. And then I'll put some gold dots too, in random places like that. One up there, I think got silver here, I did get the silver ones out as well. I've only got large ones in the silver though, so I don't know if I've got any sil smaller silver ones in, in my drawer. Have I? Let's have a look. I don't think I have. I've only got very large ones. So, uh, it's this size, isn't it? I don't think I'll use the silver then. I think what I'll do now is probably add some glue and just do some sequin dotting. Got some different coloured sequins around in places. I'm going to um, just grab the sequins and not um, plan it too much, otherwise, you know, I'll start sort of like wondering which one to put where, thinking too much about it, so I'm not going to do that. Might leave a couple of gaps though for um, the other colour. This set here, so simple one there. Oh, that came away. And then uh, maybe a green one. If I can grab a green one. Like that, so that's that little section done. So what I'm going to do is go away and finish off the actual circle of embellishments with the sequins and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so I've done my circle of um, sequins and dots and things here. I'm quite pleased with that. I just did it quite randomly. I did try and make sure I did get like a little bit of each colour in each section. So not too many colours together in one place. But I didn't like pay too much attention to that. Um, yeah, and I'm pleased with how that looks. I still haven't decided on adding the thread to these sections here. Um, but now I've picked up these stickers and I'm wondering what to do with these. I'm thinking whether I could, you know 
get one or two of these in. But I'm not actually sure now whether I want to. Because I like, I think, I don't think I need to add those. Just whether, do I need to add any more dots anywhere? Uh, where's my light coloured ones? Here they are. Just wondering whether to pop a couple of extra dots here. I don't think I actually need, there are sequins like everywhere because I did drop, I kind of like got them, they fell on the page. So once I, it's all dry, I'm going to tip it. And if there's any odd ones anywhere, they'll move. <laughs> Uh, the journaling I'll do afterwards because I've got to think about what I want to say because there's a very small space to put it in and I'll put the date, probably add the date into that little section there. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering whether I can add any more washi or anything. I don't think I can. I think it might be finished. Um, still wondering about adding a little bit of extra embellishment somewhere on a couple of these sections. No, I don't think I can make that work. And I've got the extra flare pieces here, but I think I've, I think I've, it's fine as it is. I, I like it as it is. So I think we might be finished. I'm going to leave these without the twine. I've decided. So, yeah, just do. I've just done the ones that are on their own. Yeah, I think I think it's finished. So yeah, amazing fun um, I'm excited to see what Moira O'Reilly comes up with I'll add her details so you can go off and see hers obviously our layouts will be in the playlist for Scrap Timber on YouTube and the hashtag Scrap Timber 2022 and then the the challenge for this month over at the Flare Hut Dotty About Flare as I've said already it's to use a cut file or a large title I think in a way this could be a cut file as well couldn't it I mean I've hand cut it myself and it's not been designed or anything but you know if you've got something similar like that then that could be your cut file um so that's the pie chart this is the pie chart the washi tape yeah a little bit disappointed of myself here still but i'll get over that got plenty of enamel dots plus other dots and sequins and all sorts and obviously i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine flare pieces on the page I think that that qualifies for adding flare to your page um I don't think I'm going to add splattering or anything else to this layout I think I'm going to call it done so just want to say thank you to Moira for you know joining me today and also for all her help because she does help me a lot with my YouTube channel um, anytime I've got a question, she'll try and find out the answer for me. And she helped me sort out the playlist for Scrap Timber and everything. So I'm really grateful to her for that. She's an amazing member of the scrapbooking community. She's so generous and kind. And, uh, you know, she, she just does amazing videos and amazing layouts. So check her out. I'm sure if you watch me, you watch more of it already. But if not, please go over there and have a look at what she's up to. There's a possibility when I take the photos at the end, that there may be some extra things added to here. I'm still thinking about it, but at the moment um, I think we're finished. But yeah, there's a possibility I may scatter a few more things onto it. But other than that, it is finished for the moment. So yeah, once again, uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, take care, and I shall see you next time.